Welcome back to some more Going Medieval. Last time we started working on better defenses over here. We uh, were still making a bunch of clay bricks because we're doing this out of clay bricks, but we uh, moved stuff around a little bit. I pulled this door back so that we can get... Uh, I put some windows in so when the bad guys are trying to break this door down, they can be stopped by uh, a couple of our people standing there with spears and poking them and trying to get rid of them before they get in. Um, we do need to get rid of some of these trees really quickly. I'm just going to clear cut these because I don't feel like we really need them here. So I'm going to just do that um, while they are moving stuff around. I do want to change jobs a little bit. So I think, uh, so this, uh, to grow herbs, we are going to need someone with a botany skill of 25. We had somebody with that, but they passed away when we had that raid and a bunch of our people died. The closest person to that is Huang here. He has a level 18 of botany. So what I want to do is actually make him um, do stuff. I was thinking, you know, cutting plants is part of that botany skill. So I'd like to actually make him work on cutting more than anything else so he can get that botany skill up and then we can have him hopefully plant herbs in the spring or summer so but he's our main cook so i think what i'm gonna do is actually make jeffrey here be our cook our main one because he's he's got 16 in culinary so he's still doing good i'll move huang down well maybe i'll leave his at one as well but since cutting plants is before cooking he should do that first. And then um, since Jeffrey is doing that, he's not going to have as much time to steward. I'm going to just move that down to two. And I might move Amelia up to one in stewarding because she's kind of our extra person. She's doing a lot of random jobs. So she could be the one to go through and fill the fires and shut windows and things like that. Um so I think that's what we're changing here in the jobs for now. I do also, um, oh, did I fix? I want to put somebody maybe in crafting more, maybe? Uh, I don't know. Okay, so Huang is cutting plants to get his botany up. Amelia is going to be our steward. Maybe I'll have her craft as one, two. Ugh. Um, well, maybe I'll have Jeffrey have a one in steward as well. He'll cook first because it's first in the list and then he'll go to stewarding. That way both of them are working on it and then they don't have to worry as much. She can do crafting so that we can get these bricks cooked up faster and be able to build this. Um, I would really like to get this finished before we get another raid. Not sure if it's going to happen, but it would be really nice if it did. We do have, um, if you didn't see the last episode, we put the, um, the pyre in here with the stockpile of for dead bodies. I moved it a little bit. So we, so it's out of the way and then they will come into here if they break this down but I will be able to shoot at them from up here and from this area once these are built to I put an extra what is this called ceiling uh, floor piece out here so they can stand here and shoot down there so hopefully we'll stop them before they get in I should probably put more traps actually um, along here since this is in a different spot than it was previously um, just to make sure that if they come in here, they are going through traps to get to it. And maybe you won't need as many over here, but that's okay. For now, I'll just leave it. And then I did put down some infirmary beds in here. So once this root uh, ceiling is done, it will cover the bed so they can actually use that if they get hurt. And then I do have a couple of medicine shelves put up here so they can use that right away to heal people instead of having to run down to the cellar. Uh, my, my goal is to have healing kits in here, not the herbs, but at this point we don't have the thing that makes the healing kits yet. So that'll be a future 
um, goal that we have. I am mining out this area. So as you know, this is our like library level, but most of these shelves are full. We've got one empty shelf here. We've got a little bit of space on a couple of these, but for the most part, they're full. So I think what I'm gonna do is have this level be for bookshelves. I'm just gonna have a whole lot of bookshelves down here. Then we're gonna go down one more level and that level is going to be for the uh, the thing that makes the healing kits. What's it called? Let me see if I can find it. Apothecary bench. So that's going to be down there. And that's going to... I think it'll be at the same level once we dig down again as the cellar. But we'll have to see. And that way they can run underground from the apothecary area to the cellar and get the herbs and go back and forth and they don't have to travel up the stairs in here back down the stairs and all that we'll just have a tunnel underneath to connect the two um, to make that a little bit easier then they'll make the healing kits down there and then i'll have a storage spot there and then we'll also have the uh, storage spots here for the extra ones in the infirmary so we'll make this an infirmary once this is all done but it's taking a lot of time because it's taking a lot of time to get the bricks going. It looks like Isabel or Amelia is putting it in there, but you know, it has to cook. And then as soon as it's done, they're going and putting it up here to build this. This tower is finally complete, thankfully. So we don't have to worry about them getting in there uh, anymore. And then we do have some windows here that I will be putting the what's it called Merlans along here oh but I don't know if it's gonna work they're probably not gonna be able to build it with the window there I'll have to think about how I'm gonna do that because I didn't plan that part ahead but one of the comments that I had was that if I put Merlans in front of the windows and a really good archer comes to attack us um, we'll be better protected from the Merlans and the window at the same time um, so that's kind of the goal there is to have that set up. I should probably cut down these trees as well. And let's just cut down any of these that look pretty big. Um, do we have anything over here that we could get chopped down? I do, I do want Huang to be working on that. What are you, how are your skills going? Oh, he's only not even halfway up in the level 18, so it's gonna be a little bit, but hopefully I can have him cutting trees down. Uh, what is this again, B? Just gonna go through here and select some that can be chopped so that we can get wood, sticks, and build his botany. But a lot of these seem to be still growing. Um. Okay. Okay, we'll see how that goes. Uh, maybe I can cut down some of this stuff or something. Anyway, okay, so, so we're focusing right now on mining this out. Hopefully they can get that done soon so I can put some bookshelves up. We're working on this. We did unlock better beds recently, these quality beds. So I think I actually do want to do that. Are, do we have things in these levels? So I think that when this was destroyed, the uh, extra one of these clay braziers was also destroyed. Maybe I'll put that over here just so that if this corner gets destroyed again, they don't get that. Um, and... We do have some people in these. So I'm actually going to start at the bottom with the ones that aren't don't have any people. So this one, I'm going to go ahead and deconstruct it. And same with this one. I'm going to deconstruct both of these and put the uh, better beds in there. And then I'll have um, 
maybe the two people that are in here move over to these, deconstruct these two and move some of the people upstairs down into this level so they don't have to walk as far to go to bed. Also, I th it looks like we have more new animals. Let's go ahead and m mark all of these animals to help haul. We've got a lot of animals hauling, which is very nice. That means that our settlers have less hauling to do and they can just focus on doing the work that needs to be done. What is that? I've never seen that before. Did you see that like yellow? Huh, I wonder what that was. Anyway, um, so where, what do I want to, oh, you know what? I'm still going pretty slow. Let's go ahead and speed this up a little bit and let them get working. And I'm hoping this can get done pretty soon here. I'd like to have the infirmary going and ready. I don't really know what we need in the infirmary. I should probably take a look. Okay, infirmary. One infirmary bed and two medicine shelves, which I think we have those as until, once this becomes an actual room because of the, the roof on there, then we should be okay, I think, because we do have one, two medicine shelves. Uh, we also need that other medicine shelf to be built, but we should be okay there. Once we actually have some simple healing kits, I'll turn those medicine shelves into just allowing the healing kits in there and not the herbs. And we are going to need to start harvesting herbs around here. It is winter day 12, which means tomorrow's the start of spring. So hopefully some of this will um, start growing and we can harvest more herbs and things like that. Here's another one, I think. So I'll need to keep an eye out for that pretty soon here. I think we have enough ice. Yeah, we've got 11 out of 10, so that's good. I don't have to worry about running out. Um, it is just barely cool enough to freeze these, but we don't really need any more, and it is the end of winter, so thankfully we've got that done. I do want to start sewing these uh, once it's warm enough, so I'm going to open these up. I'm not going to worry about the herbs. Well, maybe I will unlock it in case we get up to that um, amount of... If he if Huang gets up to 25 in botany, then he can do it. Otherwise, it doesn't really matter because we don't have a way to do it anyway. So, But as soon as he can, he will. And he's still working on cutting. So hopefully his botany is going up. Where is he at? Uh... Okay, he's out here cutting all this stuff down. How much experience do you get from doing that? That's what I want to know. 50? Okay. And we need... Uh, like, almost eight, 1,800. Well, closer to 1,700 at this point. Um, skill, XP... So it's going to be a little bit, but hopefully he can get that done. Once he starts planting this, maybe it'll help a little bit more too. That'll be good. And we so we do have a chicken, I think. Okay, yeah. She's right here, and I think she's laying eggs. I saw some out in the wild before, so hopefully we'll get some more eggs soon. And hopefully this will help keep her feeling good being warm in here. Maybe she'll be more likely to lay eggs. I don't really know much about the chickens in this game. But, oh, she's just idle. Egg at 11%. Okay, so I don't know if that really anything changes, but it's good to know that she is making eggs. Hopefully we can get a male chicken pretty soon and we can start producing more chickens. That'll be good. Um, and then we also are going to need to build... Uh, we unlocked the Bower, Bowers, Bowers, however you say that, table. Um, I don't know if it was in the last episode or the one before and I just forgot, but we can start working on this. This is going to allow us to make bows, I believe. So that'll be good to have. And then we can also build something else I think came with it. What was it called? Like some uh, wood workshop or... Not that one. Wood wood working bench. So um, can I fit it right next to this? It looks like I can. Okay. So then I could have both of those there. They can uh, store more weapons and stuff up here. I do have some on the level below here. I've got weapons and armor and things like that. Um, but then we'll have more space up here for the rest. 
which will be very good. And then we're still working on this, which is not a big deal. Another thing that I thought of, oh, we just got some more dogs. Let's see if they are able to haul. Oh my gosh, we've got so many more. So much, so many animals to haul. That's crazy. Um, okay. The other thing we can do is actually build, I think, is it in here? Merchant stall. So instead of the merchants coming into our great dining hall here, we will have them uh, just hang out right here and they'll just be waiting for us there. I'm not really sure. Caravan halt. Settlers gather at this point in anticipation of a caravan's arrival or departure. So I don't know if I need this. Maybe I'll just build one here in case and we'll see what it does. I'm not really sure. Um, and I think I just saw that the beds were taken out. Okay, so we can actually put up those new beds here. So we need linen, wood, and hay. And I think we have all of those. Let's just double check. Um, so we've got wood. Textiles. We've got linen and, oh, do we not have any hay? I think it's in raw materials or maybe it's in fodder. Okay, we have a little bit of hay. So I think we can do this. Let's go ahead and put up some quality beds here. Uh, is that the right direction? Yeah, okay. And here, oh, maybe I don't want this here. I wanna do it on this side. This side, um, like so. Okay, so once they build those, then I will make those the beds for the two people that are sleeping down here. Take those beds out, build new beds, and then have the two people or three people that are sleeping above switch to those as well so that we can not travel as far, which will be good. Um, how are we doing here? Still not doing great. Do I have builders, constructors? Yes, Amelia is a constructor, but she's crafting first. So, well, and she was taking what was crafted by Nicholas and turn going and constructing right away. Now that she's not doing that, I guess she might be just crafting over and over again. We'll see if, uh, if it becomes a problem. Ooh, good, it's spring now. Um, what do we have, I guess, in manufacture? Do we have clay bricks? We do. So I do need her to be working on uh, constructing. I'm going to make that a one as well. That way she will construct when we have the stuff for it. Then she'll go work on doing the bricks and stuff when we don't. And then she'll go back to constructing as the bricks get done, hopefully. That's the plan, at least. These are not quite ready. It's still too cold outside, but soon they will be working. I do have them playing. So as soon as it's warm enough, they will start to um, collect that. I might move this up um, even more. Maybe I should just do 400. Uh, let's do that for these as well. And this one, there. Oh, oh and they are getting some. Okay, who is this? Nicholas. Nicholas, I believe, is our, um, yes, our animal handler. So that's his main job. Although crafting is before that, but I guess the these items are already going. So now he's working on that while he's waiting for it to be done, which is nice. We are working on planting flax. We don't have any seeds. Do we not have any at all or just not enough for, let's see. Cabbage seeds, carrot seeds, beet seeds, herb seeds, flax seed. Oh man, so we're not gonna be able to plant the red currant field until we find some red currants out in the wild, which is not great. Um, and I don't know if they even come around. Oh, is that a bear? That is a bear, oh man. We'll have to be careful. I don't know if they attack without being provoked, but I uh, want to be careful anyway. Yeah, I don't see any red currants yet. I guess we'll have to wait a little bit because I think the red currants don't um, develop until the summer. So until that point, we're not going to have any. And I don't see any herbs yet anymore. So I guess we'll have to wait a little bit on that as well. Oh, 
Yay, they're finally getting this done. Oh, good. And I was thinking about putting um, the flooring along here as well, because then I can have them walk across this area. Um, maybe I'll even actually copy it and have them come out this way. Um, so they can walk from this side too. And then if I need them to stand up here and shoot down, I can. Um, not sure if I will, but it's available if I do want to do that. Yeah, Amelia's got a lot to construct, so it's going to be a little while, I guess. Oh, but this is done. That's good. And what does this do? I don't really know. It just says settlers gather at this point. Hmm. We'll see what happens. What is this? Dirt? I'll allow them to move that around. Um... Yep, they're starting to get this done. I might, um, well, no, I'm going to have to build a floor first. I was going to say I might start working on building stairs down again. I guess I could. Maybe, okay. What I'll do is I'll put the flooring in here and then like this. I'm going to dig out these three, I think, and then put a set of stairs there to go down to the next level. And as this gets mined out, then I will continue to um, to put a floor in and all of that. And then I might need to put down some beams down there as well. I don't really know. Maybe I should actually plan that first. So let's go ahead and cancel uh, let's cancel this. Um, I'm going to cancel. Where, I'm trying to decide how far. I think I'm going to do this. Cancel all of this. Then I will put a beam here and here. And then I'll continue um, building all this out. That way nothing caves in or any of that. It is starting to get warmer. It's spring day two. We've got flax all planted up. We've got a little bit of cabbage in here. Uh, I don't think we have any f anything in either of these. Oh, we need a level 20 botany for this too. Oh man. Well, who's in here right now? Isabel. I guess Isabel might end up getting her botany up pretty quickly too. Does she grow? He He's just busy cutting and stuff. I'm gonna switch this uh, back to two and have him start growing because I need him to get his botany up quickly and I also need stuff to be planted. And then hopefully it'll get up to level 18 or 19 and he can start um, or I'm sorry, he's already 18. Hopefully it'll get up to 19, maybe even 20, and then he can put beets down too. But we'll have to wait and see what how that works out. Oh my gosh, look at all the animals just hanging out in here. <laughs> oh, it's because it's warm. So they're just waiting until something needs to be hauled and then they go do it. That's funny. I'm just going to go around and uh, uh, select more trees to be chopped down, I guess, while we're waiting for things to happen. Uh, what about up here? I'm going to go ahead and... Get rid of these trees and potentially these as well. 
I think I might have planted some over here, which I might need to move. Um, especially once we have another layer of the wall out here, uh, just so that the bad guys can't um, hide in the trees and stop our people from, from shooting at them. Um, but we'll wait and see. We've got some more deer here. How are we doing on this? Uh, is that all we've... Okay, no. So we've got quite a few deer. Let's go ahead and get the mature ones selected. And then the young ones can... Oh, I need to save one of the females. Okay. Oh! We'll allow that deer to be collected. Um, how are we doing here? Is there anything in this section other than that deer? No. Okay. Well. Oh, and one right here. Ooh. Hunger comes calling. When... Eldolf arrived, his bones were prominent and his hair fell out in clumps. Blackwell people stared at this wretched, starving soul. Desperation was writ on Aldolf's face and he pleaded, would you take him in? Yeah, let's go ahead and let him in. I want to change his name. Um, I'm just going to call him Al. And he can, um, let's see what he's good at. First, oh no, he's got bloodlust. He comes into his own in a fight, roused by the prospect of violent slaughter. He's an early bird, so he relishes getting to work at daybreak when the first cock crows and early bedtime is essential. So, I think somebody else is also an early bird, unless that person passed away. Oh no, we've got a um, night owl. Maybe I was wrong. Okay, so he's an early bird. We've got, he has master discipline and self-denial. He often fasts, going for days without food with no ill effect. Um, so that's pretty nice. He has 10 botany. He's good at mining and speech craft. Maybe the best speech craft person. I think Isabel was our main person with 16. And he has... 19. So he'll be the person that talks to the traders that come, which is good. Um, he's got two stars in culinary, but he's only level six, but I might have him help with food, I guess. He's pretty smart, and he has a star in both marksman and melee, but he's better at melee. But I might have him work on marksman. It's better to have more people that can shoot, and over half of our people are um, melee fighters. So it would probably be good to have him working as a, uh, with a ranged weapon. And I'm gonna go ahead and have him put a cap on, but I just don't want it to be a bad one. I'm gonna do the same here. We're gonna do good winter clothing. And yeah. Um, and meals here, I guess I didn't make her only eat meals, but I think we'll do that. We're gonna have him wake up early. Oh, weird. Why did I... Wong is a night owl, but I had him get up early. I guess I'll just copy and paste that there. Because he doesn't need as much sleep, I think. And then, um, let's see. Eh, I guess better than some. We'll put this at four. We are going to have Urgent Hall as a two. I'm going to have him help hunt so he can get better. Um, construction. I'll leave it a three. Botany will have him help grow and harvest. I'm going to leave that at a three. Uh, he doesn't really need to help with the animal handling. He's a good miner, though, so I might actually have him mine. At least for a while. Cut plants. Uh, I'll make that a two. He's gonna be a good 
a helpful cook. I might make that a one as well. I, well, maybe I'll make it a two for now because I need him to mine. Uh, no, I'll make it a one. It's fine. Uh, we'll make this a two. He's okay at smithing. Actually, he might be our best at this point. Oh, no. Jeffrey is better at smithing. I'll leave this at a three. Well, I'll leave that at a three as well. You don't really need to help Taylor. Pretty smart, though. We'll make that a two. I am not super interested in that. And then we'll leave the d these a three. He's got a lot of other stuff to do, so um, hopefully that'll help. And... Oh, good. I'm glad we're getting uh, more people again. Okay, so... These are still not built. I believe I have all the resources, so it's just a matter of getting them to come build it. Sorry about that. I started sneezing, so I had to mute myself. Um, anyway, what were we doing? Okay, this is good. This is They've got all of the infirmary beds built. Uh, they're just working on flooring. They've got a lot of the roof done. Uh, still working on it, but better than it was. Oh, and where was I just at? Okay, so this is now going to be for Amelia. And I'm gonna deconstruct this one. And then we're gonna have Isabel move over here once it's done. Okay. So this is going to be for Isabel, and then this is also going to get deconstructed, and then I'll put two more beds there for um, for the nicer beds so that they have somewhere nice to sleep. And then I'll start moving these people down and rebuilding some of these beds as well. They're finally getting some of this. Oh no, never mind. It just doesn't look like as much because I have less of it selected. But Al should be helping out with that pretty soon here. Because he's got, I mean, he's hunting first. Let's see, I guess, how much they've got left to hunt. They're done hunting. So he will switch over to mining pretty soon. And then after that, he'll help cook. And I might um, have them make more food now that we have more people helping with that. I'm just going to go ahead and add an additional 100 meals and then I'm going to leave lavish meals here because it takes our herbs and I really don't need them. I might actually go down to just 20 lavish meals because um, we don't need them. And I'd rather use the herbs for the healing kits and things like that. Uh, I'm going to up the amount of animal feed because of how many animals we've got. But it's already we've got 50 and so making it have 50 all the time is fine and I might want to do pickled vegetables pretty soon so that our cabbage and carrots and beets don't spoil as quickly I think that'll help with that um, but I'm gonna need vinegar or salt to do that so I might want to start I think there was salt around here somewhere is this salt no this is all iron oh I didn't realize this was here before I swear that we did not have iron on this map previously but there's definitely iron all up in here. This is all iron too. Weird. I s I'm pretty sure this wasn't here before. Was it? Am I crazy? I don't think it was. I think it was salt before. That's why I decided to go with clay bricks instead because I was worried that we were gonna... Okay, here's some salt. Um, I was worried that we were going to not have enough limestone... But now we've got a lot of iron here. Well, okay. That's nice. I guess we'll um, be able to mine that out and use it to make more tools and stuff. And maybe I'll start... Well, at this point I'm doing it out of clay bricks already. There's not really a point of switching. I think that the clay bricks and the limestone bricks uh, have the same defensive amount I think it's like 800 where they can get hit what's it called hit points I think I think they both have the same amount of hit points so there's not really a point of switching to limestone if we're already doing it out of clay bricks and it would be weird to have some of it in clay and some of it in limestone so I'm just gonna leave it um but 
That is so weird. So weird. I'm also going to dig out more of this, I think. Oh, is this salt? It is salt. You know what? I'm just going to go ahead and get all this. Um, and I think I have a ramp. Yeah, I do. So as they uh, dig this out, then the animals will come help grab it. Just like that. <laughs> well, that's good. I'm glad that that's working. Oh, they're finally getting this work done. Oh, yes. Okay. And then because I have this out an extra notch, they should be able to stand here and maybe shoot down in here or something. We'll see. Anyway. Um... I'm gonna go ahead and build more Merlons. Just continue this down the line here. Um, then once we get that done, once we get all of this finished, then I'll start figuring out where I wanna put the next tower um, because I think that's the next step is to build another tower here, but uh, we were it was taking a long time to get the clay bricks made. So hopefully this'll help and we can get more done. Are we? still doing good on clay we've got 800 so yeah mining this out is important and um and they got some oh they did get some red currants i guess i uh, didn't realize okay good they've got that planted so we'll be able to continue producing that once they harvest some of these they can plant more because they use this this uh fruit to replant oh no okay they wanted slaves. They demanded blood. Indiscriminate raiders intent on pillage and plunder charged into your village. So we're not if they have trebuchets, we're not going to run out and try to get them right away. We're going to focus on the guys that are there. But thankfully, we have the tower built. We've got the wall built and we've got some more Merlans built. So hopefully it'll be OK. Let's see. 11 enemies appeared so we've got three archers the rest are all marauders so where are my people at where am i at okay we need to get all of the people drafted and moving this direction then i'm gonna okay amelia has a spear and i think Wong has a sword. I think maybe he can use the sword in this spot. So we're going to try it. Um, Amelia, come stand here. Wong, come stand here. And then Isabel, stand right here. And then we're going to have Al come up here. Jeffrey right here and Nicholas right here. Okay. Oh, I don't think I built the other, I was gonna put another pyre in here for them to get distracted by so I could get them while we're waiting, but I guess it doesn't really make sense. Anyway, okay, so we're ready. We've got everybody except for maybe Al. Where's Al at? Okay, he's coming. Everybody else is there. So we're, I think we're prepared. We're gonna see how this goes. Whew. Hopefully it'll be better than last time. Oh man. I'm gonna speed this up a little bit so they get over here quicker. Hopefully some of these traps will work too and help get uh, some of the bad guys. Oh. Yes, I know you're exhausted. I will let you. Oh, no. Crap. Because I have two doors here now, they're coming in through this one. What am I going to do? Okay. I need Jeffrey to come over... Here. Wonder if he can. We're gonna do the same thing. Nicholas, come over here. Oh. Okay, we do have some. They're just they're going everywhere. Oh my gosh. Okay, Nicholas, never mind. Stay where you're at. Uh 
Al, I might need you to come over here and try to get these guys. Oh man, we're splitting up our people. Okay, Jeffrey, I need you over here. Can you, uh... Oh, I don't have a way to get up here. Well, that's kind of dumb. Um... Yeah. That's not gonna work, is it? And I don't have a way to fix that. I was thinking I had a way up here, but I don't. Because I don't have a doorway. I need a doorway in here. I wonder if I could deconstruct this really quick. Oh. So I can get up here and then I'll have Jeffrey. Jeffrey come down here really quick. Undraft. Prioritize deconstructing. And then I can have him run out. We'll see how this works. This is gonna be bad. You almost done? Okay, Jeffrey, draft. I need you to run all the way over here. Okay, can you do that? You're gonna have to stop these guys before they get too far. Well, this guy already died. I wonder how that happened. How are we doing over here? Oh man, I cannot believe they split up their stuff. Okay, so you need to fire down on them. Okay, that's going well. You are getting these guys done. There's not really much else I can do. <sighs> Thankfully, none of them have gotten hurt yet. Okay, so he's going there. Yeah, go ahead and stop this guy before he gets too far, and then I'll have you go help Al over here. Ooh, marksman level five already. Nice. He's doing pretty good for having all these bad guys here. Okay, so that one's dead. Jeffrey, come over here and help him now. Uh, you stand right here. Ugh, oh, man. I did not plan that very well. Um, yeah, I think we'll be okay. How's this door holding up? Uh, over halfway down, but you know, we only got two bad guys left, so we should be okay. Jeffrey is just running all over the place. And Al's over here. He's already killed a couple of people, but uh, we still have two left. So hopefully Jeffrey can help with that. And uh, who's this? Nicholas? Nicholas is almost done. He's getting this bad guy taken care of, thankfully. Whew, man, that was crazy. Uh, nine sworn enemies died during the fight. Nicholas was the bravest, dealing the most blows, and what took the most damage from the enemy, thinking only of defending Blackwell in its hour of need. Thankfully. Okay, you four can uh, be undrafted. I'm going to have these two finish this guy off. Okay, now you two can be undrafted as well. I am going to change their schedule really quickly to um, let them sleep a little bit longer today and hopefully they'll be fine. We'll see if that works. I might have to let them sleep longer than that, but at this point, what do you mean excurs incursion? Oh, there's one person that didn't die. Well, whatever, I'll let them go. And then I'm going to go ahead and allow all of this to get picked up by the animals as they need it to be done. Yes, I know. Oh man, all of them are exhausted. Look at that. But they're going to bed, so that'll be good. Do I have enough beds for everybody? I guess maybe I don't. Amelia, Nicholas. I guess since I, uh, there should be enough. There's six beds. And I got six people. But I might as well put up the new beds now. They're all sleeping on the floor. It's fine. We'll get that taken care of in just a minute. And rotate this so we can put it in here. Okay. Oh, is this in the middle of the room? It is. Cancel. 
and put a new one up like this. Okay. Uh, Hal is done. How well rested. Okay, good enough. And then they can get better sleep tomorrow. I'm gonna go ahead and put this back to anything for these couple of hour. Oh wait, I don't wanna do that yet, do I? With these ones. Let them sleep until eight o'clock and then they can get up. Long is gardening. Okay, everybody's waking up. Let's go ahead and move this back to the other schedule. Hopefully that was enough sleep for um, for now, well rested, well rested, well rested, well rested. Okay, good. So that worked out well. And then they can get back to what they were doing previously, which is very, very good. Um, and they didn't, none of them got hurt enough that, to need the infirmary, but it is here in case we need it. And this is an infirmary now, right? No rooms found of this type. What do you mean? This is an infirmary. Does it not count because it's not complete? Oh, there's holes in the ceiling. Maybe that's why. Well, maybe soon it'll be one. Eh, whatever. Well, I'm pretty happy. I know I definitely need to get some better stuff going here, especially if we're only going to have one door on each of these spots. But for the most part, it worked well. Yeah, I might end up putting... Yeah, we're gonna have to do this soon. Build that out better. And thankfully this worked out well. So I'll continue using this. We do need to do more walls and another set of double doors over here. And then I'm gonna move this probably into a different area. This is just for collecting animal, um, for the animals to die on the traps and to be able to collect the meat. So, um, I'm going to leave that here for now, but I, I will need to change it a little bit later so that they don't just come in this area automatically. Um, but I think that that is where we're going to end it today. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you liked this video, I'm going to pop a couple more episodes up here that you might also enjoy. Please leave me a comment below. I love hearing from all of you, but that's going to be it for today. I'll see you next time.